The film starts on a stormy 4 a.m. morning. A man named Tom Cooper is sitting outside of a house in his pickup truck. After taking his meds, he approaches the house with a hammer and begins smashing the door. The couple living in the house finds him, and Cooper proceeds to attack and kill both of them before setting their house on fire. Divorced mom Rachel Flynn gets a call from her lawyer friend Andy, who says that her ex-husband Richard wants to get their house in their ongoing battle. She lives with their son Kyle, along with Rachel's younger brother Fred and his girlfriend Mary. Rachel drives Kyle to school on a day that sees heavy traffic. Kyle talks to Richard on the phone, who tells him that he can't make it to his upcoming game. Rachel then speaks to a client, Deborah Haskell, and tells her she is running late, but Deborah fires her out of frustration. Rachel drives to a red light where she is behind Cooper's pickup. The light turns green, but he doesn't move, even as other cars pass them. Rachel honks twice, and she ends up driving past him before the light turns red. She is then stuck at another red light and Cooper pulls up next to her. He talks to Kyle since his window is down, and he tells them that drivers give light courtesy taps at red lights. Rachel has no time for this and responds aggressively to him, but Cooper appears to threaten the two of them. As they continue driving, Cooper cuts Rachel off on the road. Rachel drops Kyle off and stops at a gas station. As she is inside the shop, she notices Cooper's pickup parked behind her car. The clerk and a customer named Leo notice Rachel looks uneasy and she says that she thinks she is being followed. Leo offers to walk with her outside to get Cooper's license plate number so she can call the cops. He does so, and Rachel goes back into her car. Leo makes the mistake of taunting Cooper, causing him to run his truck into Leo and knock him into the road, where he is killed by another car. Rachel speeds away, and Cooper goes after her. He has her pinned in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, but she loses him down a one-way street. Unfortunately, Cooper has stolen Rachel's phone. Andy waits for Rachel in a diner where she was supposed to meet him, but Cooper finds him there first, making Andy think he is a friend of Rachel's. She has another phone that Cooper calls. When she talks to Andy, she tries to warn him that Cooper is not who he says he is, but it's too late as Cooper takes the phone back and threatens Rachel. When Andy tries to intervene, Cooper smashes a mug in his face and slams his head down on the table in front of horrified customers before finally jamming a butter knife into Andy's neck, killing him. The patrons who didn't run away in terror record the whole scene. And Cooper walks out of the diner still threatening Rachel. As Rachel attempts to drive to safety, Cooper keeps her on the phone and makes her choose who will die next, or else he will just go look for Kyle. Desperate, Rachel tells him to go to Deborah's house as payback for firing her. Rachel calls the cops so that they can corner him there, but he instead goes to Rachel's house, just as Fred sees the news report on the diner murder, just as Cooper enters the house holding Mary. Fred holds a knife at him, but he pushes Mary repeatedly into the blade to kill her, and then he ties Fred in a chair. Rachel makes it to Kyle's school to get him before Cooper does, frantically trying to tell the staff that he is after her and Kyle. After securing Kyle, Cooper calls Rachel again and forces Fred to talk to her just before he sets him on fire. Moments later, cops burst into the house and shoot Cooper in the shoulder before he escapes, and the responding officer puts out Fred's fire. Cooper steals a minivan and catches Rachel and Kyle on the highway. The two try to alert a police officer, but Cooper rear-ends him and causes him to swerve into the path of a truck that plows him down, which then causes an immense pileup. Cooper continues to pursue Rachel and Kyle, causing a woman doing her makeup to crash into a guardrail. Rachel drives to her mother's old house where she manages to keep Kyle hidden, and she waits for Cooper. He parks outside the house, where Rachel drives her car into his to flip it over. She approaches him with a golf club but he gets the drop on her and knocks her out before going to find Kyle. Rachel picks herself up and fights Cooper as he tries to attack Kyle. Cooper knocks Rachel off and goes to try and strangle Kyle. But Rachel jumps at jams a pair of scissors into his eye to take him down. As Cooper tries to get up, Rachel delivers a courtesy tap and kicks the scissors deeper into his skull, finally killing him. The police arrive and get Rachel's statement. The officer informs Rachel that Fred is alive and they can go visit him in the hospital. On the way there. A driver cuts Rachel off at a green light. She almost honks at him but changes her mind. Kyle tells her she made a good choice. Kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell for more recaps. Thanks for watching.